everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my channel, Adventures in Paint Pouring. <laughs> I'm gonna do a flip cup today. Actually, I'm gonna flip two cups and go back uh, to cool old school and um, do a pour with my um, old pouring medium recipe that I'll talk about. And today's inspiration it's a painting I made a few months ago for my husband for his office, which is still sitting at home. Shame on him. Um, it's this one right here. I hope the glare, because it's been resin. It's on cradled wood. I had stained the sides. Um, and it was done with no white, just using a bunch of silver. So now I'm having problems with my silver today. I don't know what it is about that particular color. Artisloft, Liquitex, Golden, they all clump up on me, so I've been stirring like a mad woman. But I'm gonna try, you can't, I'm not gonna be able to get this again, I know it, but you know, I'm gonna try on an 11 by 14 cradle panel, so. <laughs> let me, um, <laughs> let me throw my glasses around. <laughs> God. Let me put my glasses on and get set up and we'll get started. All right, there's my canvas really really nice this is a um, da Vinci uh, cradle panel with the smooth gesso so it's really really silky on top paint should slide quite easily my pouring medium recipe that I made up in my little Home Depot quart cup was four ounces of water eight ounces of golden color pouring medium in gloss and 12 ounces of Elmer's glue all. You can use any pouring medium though, it doesn't have to be the golden. Um, I just had a session with a student um, the other night where we use Artist Loft pouring medium, I believe, and it worked just fine. So it doesn't have to be the golden. I just happen to like it. Um, colors for this endeavor, um, they'll come up at the end of the video. Everything will come up at the end of the video on the last screen all in one spot for you guys to screenshot. But just real quick, we have Amsterdam's Payne's Gray. We have Amsterdam, what is this called? Well, duh, turquoise blue. We also have turquoise green. Amsterdam, it's Amsterdam day, except for another shade of blue, which is Liquitex Heavy Body in the uh, Philo Cyan blue which is this shade and then we have the two troublemakers which are shades i'm worried about these um this is liquitex silver and it still seems a little bit grainy despite me stirring it for like a half an hour so my hand was going to fall off um the ratio today is a little different i usually do one to one and then augment with water today i did one part paint to 1.5 parts pouring medium and I needed very little water just like a couple drops um, particularly for the heavy body one and then we have another shade of gray um, that's Liquitex iridescent graphite gray it too anything gray and silver it just I don't know about you guys they always get lumpy this is much much better it has a couple little tiny baby granules that I'm not gonna worry about. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna layer these colors in a cup. Um, let me show you my consistency. Hopefully this is a good color. So when it leaves that mound or trace, which is a soap making term, it lasts barely a second before it melts back into the paint. So I do like my paints a little bit on the thin side. So I do like to see that little mound uh, before it disappears. That's my preference. We are going to use silicone today. My spot on silicone, which is lying around somewhere. Um, and I need to grab it. Oh, there's my torch. So let me grab my silicone and uh, we'll start layering colors. All right, so I'm only gonna put in I do want cells today, like I want cell central. This will be the cell video. Because this guy here, it's all about the colors and the cells. So that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna put three in that one. Which 
three in the blue, two in the green, two in the Payne's gray, and I don't know, maybe just one each in the um, silvers. Of course, I'm going to use them like they're white. So let me give these a quick little stir. After this, I'm going to film a um, preview video uh, and hold an auction next weekend. Just um, probably no more than 15 pieces, 12 to 15 pieces. And I'll, I'll be honest, why am I having an auction? It's out of laziness because that way I don't have to take pictures and do many videos and put them on my website, <laughs> which is not a good reason. I guess it's as good as reason as any to hold an auction, but I swear I'm a, I'm inherently lazy. Like if there was an award for laziness, I'd have somebody mail it to me. <laughs> That's my lazy joke of the day. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. Somebody else wrote to me. I'm a little bit self-conscious because some, somebody else, and I've heard this before, wrote to me and said that they enjoyed my channel because I laugh like Betty Rubble. So of course I had to run to YouTube and look up old Flintstone commercials to see if I laugh like Betty Rubble. And yeah, I sound like Betty Rubble. Like I was gonna fight it. <laughs> And be like, no, I don't. But yeah, I do. Uh, so I might try not to laugh. Oh, no. That's silly. All right, let's get started. Those are uh, mixed up fairly well. We're just going to do these two flip cups. And this is the color that's going to be on top. So I'm going to start... I'm going to start with Payne's Gray, actually. And I'm going to do these the same. And hope that that Payne's Gray seeps, seeps down into the colors. And then we're going to go with this blue. That's going to be dark put together. So since that's going to be dark together, let's brighten it up a little bit. With some green and some green. Oh, also, I've been experimenting with using, <clears throat> excuse me, American Floetrol. I think I'm going to go gray first with um, a couple other ingredients to do the bloom technique using American Floetrol. I know some people have recipes out there. I'm trying to get it to work where I'm happy with it because, you know, we're all different. And once I have it nailed down, I will do a video on that because I think, um, oops, the Australian Floetrol is going to be tougher and tougher to get off of eBay because of COVID and Australia is on lockdown again. Um, so that's going to make it difficult. Doing just lots of little layers today. All right. I haven't touched this cup of silver at all. I think I'm only going to use it at the end, so we'll just leave it right there. I might even break out um, my cake, my spinning cake stand is right behind me. Um, I might even give this a gentle spin to get to the corners. We'll see. I'm trying to get um, the blues as I layer to touch the paint's gray at least once. And then the silver, silver. I'm going to put a little bit of the dark blue. And then we're going to put this gray on top because I want that to be 
the bottom color. I got a lot of it. Holy moly, full cups. All right. Doesn't look lumpy, so that's a good thing. All right, you guys ready? All right, this is gonna splooge because it's so full, but I'm just gonna go anyway. So ready, Geronimo? Oh, not bad. And Geronimo. Give those a second. Throw on some gloves. So I don't know about uh, the ladies out there when you go out, you know, to run errands or anything. Like I haven't worn makeup. Uh, like full makeup in a long, long time because you're wearing a mask, so why bother? Um, but then I was video chatting with a girlfriend and she had on like the most beautiful shades of uh, eyeshadow. I'm like, oh my God, you look beautiful. She's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just doing eyes now to go with the mask. So she's been coordinating her eye makeup with her mask, because she has, I guess, a bunch of different masks. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna start doing that too. So now I've taken to wearing um, just eye makeup and no foundation or anything else. Kind of funny. That was a boring conversation. All right, we ready? Oh boy. Gosh, I haven't, do I want it just slipped up? I haven't done a flip and drag in forever. But you know, I like to mess it up. And don't go running off the side. See the dark stuff's underneath or in the bottom of this. Let me see if I can get some out. Yeah, I want that dark stuff. You too, it's the dark stuff underneath here. Nope. Maybe a little, I see it now. It's at the bottom of the cup. Gotta make a pattern. Like I can't stop myself. It just, I just do it automatically. Well, obviously not the same as the one I made for my husband. What are you gonna do? There's just no way. And since I did it a couple um, a couple months ago, I could not remember the colors either. So I guessed and guessed at the order as well. I'm gonna tilt this around. I've got a couple cells, got an ugly caterpillar right there. He'll be going off. Um, tilt this around before we torch it. I'm kind of worried already because you, I don't know if it, it's showing up, but there are like lines of colors and usually lines of colors like that means I may not have stirred my silicone enough. And I'm afraid if I torch those areas now, I will just get rows and rows of caterpillars. So I'm not gonna. So I'm happy to see the silver show up though. That I am happy about. So it's gonna take this back and forth keep the weight of the paint kind of in the middle of the canvas for now and I'm going to come down by me because um, there's not much I need in terms of coverage. I'm going to take some off and get rid of my bikini corner. Bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. Let's help this little spot along right here and right there. Come off. And then just come down to this one side. Actually, I'm going to bring the weight of the paint back and now torch. Because I have most coverage. And I want to be able to um, wiggle the canvas around uh, 
and makes and you know fucks with my cells. Grabbing a paper towel or trying to. Let me get my torch. Torch up high for some bubbles. Go for it. Come in. Yeah, see, I'm going to get the caterpillars. I feel kind of rusty at these. But you guys know me. If I hate this, I will um, throw on another cup of paint because I do have the leftover. What I really wanted, the only place I have what I had in my head is this one corner where it has dark with the blue cells. I don't know if you guys can see it. That corner there. That's why I'm waiting to last because I'm going to have to kill it off and that's the only only thing I really like. But um, we'll see. Let's stretch this out and see. Stretch it out a little bit and if I'm still not happy, we'll make up another cup. Because like, well, right off the bat, I'm going to go the opposite way because those caterpillars got to go. Like, I hate them. Like, I, you guys know that. If you watch my channel enough, you know I'm not a fan of those. So I'm trying to keep my one corner because I like it so much. I'm gonna try and get rid of some darker areas. It's all too like bright and happy for me. Yep, I'm gonna put another cup on top of this. Cause I just don't, it's not what I wanted. And you can't be afraid to waste paint. So let me grab another cup. I'm gonna grab a, a recycled cup. Right here. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm gonna put the cup there. And we're gonna go heavier on the Payne's Gray. This time, save some for uh, the next. And the blue. We'll do the dark silver. This silver gray color, this graphite gray. I might skip the aqua green in favor of just this uh, turquoise. Yep. And we'll put the rest of the blue on top of that. Go gray and Payne's gray. A little more gray. And the rest of the Payne's gray. Gonna dig that all out. a second that's more what I had in mind. this this is what I had in mind Cannot get that pain's gray. I'm gonna force the issue and drag it around. Because I want what I want. And I put it in first and last. And it's still.
does not want to come out. All right. All right, there we go. I like those colors much better already. So me, let me give this a little tilt and then we'll torch. And just kind of swing off stuff. Over here, I'm gonna take that all the way. go for it here too oh yeah now we're cooking bringing the weight of the paint back to the center I'm gonna stop in a second just so I can torch you guys will all end up knowing me it's like you know that Karen girl who does everything twice. <laughs> right? All right, let me give this a torch. I don't like you. Any better? Give that a second. I want some dark cells in there. I want some dark cells in there. I know some people that use um. What are they called? The little suction thingies? Hold on. I'm letting the cells grow. The little medicine things, oh gosh, I'm having a, a blank on what they're called. Where you, uh, what are they called? Oh my God. I'm having a total blank on something I want to tell you and I can't remember the name of them. But basically that you can suction out the paint instead of like being like me and um, sticking your finger in your art. Uh, other people use blank to like <laughs> it out. <laughs> total blank on what they're called. Can, can I, it's like when I sip of my tongue. Don't you hate when that happens? And I can't think of the name of them. I can't get my glove on either. All right, glove on. Got to get rid of some of this stuff. This is uh, more what I had in mind, though, for sure. And hopefully I have enough paint on top to float my way off some of this stuff here. Off you go. Off. Oh, I might leave a little bit. Let's leave a little bit on that corner because it's kind of pretty. Bring the cells back, help them keep their shape. Swing everything down again. Oh, I really wanted to put this on my spinner. Just for like giggles. I wonder if it's too late. Oh, there's paint in there.
I'm making my own little cells right there. It's better. What do we think? I like that I have background. I'm always a proponent for background as well. I'm just gonna dork around with composition for a second. This part here that I just smeared and then um, torched looks amazing right there. I think I'm done. I think I say ta-da. It's, uh, it's just bright enough. Let me, um, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm pretty happy. Let me uh, pop the camera off and get you guys down for a close-up. I'm still buggered that I can't think of the name. A syringe! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm such a giver. A syringe! <laughs> Let me get you down for a close-up. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm still giggling over that. Oh my gosh. So here's the one corner I was talking about where I just basically smeared uh, coverage on because I had paint there. So just added the blue back and then torched it. That looks amazing. Nice color variation of all the blues and the cells. I mean, you just can't go wrong with blue. I like this part up here a lot. That's just great. And I actually like this other corner too. I like, uh, I got some silver cells going on and this cute little corner with a little curly cue at the end that I decided to leave because it made me smile. And sorry for the reflection. There it be. It's not my husband's. He knew that wasn't gonna work out, but um, pretty dang happy with the uh, second attempt on this one. I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing um, a flip and drag. And, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing I? a flip and drag, and um, I try to throw this in from time to time. Uh, I want to do a flip and drag. I didn't do it today, where um, I spin it out on my cake spinner, just, you know, for the hell of it. Anyway, this is Goober Girl signing off. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for the love and support, as usual, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.